So I'm going to show you how to graph trigonometric equations. Um, it's really easy and it's the best way to do it in my opinion because you can see it visually. So this problem is cosine 2x plus square root 2 over 2 equals 0 and cosine determines what the graph is going to be looking like and 0 is where they intersect. So if you were to graph this, it would look like this. And it takes its time making it because, you know, nobody's in a hurry while they're graphing. You know, it's not like the SAT's a thing. So when you get your graph done, you'll hit second trace and then five, which is for intersect. And you'll go to the first intersection on the left. Doesn't matter which side, just choose on the left. And you click enter three times and you'll get negative 1.178. And that's important to remember. That number is important. So if you were to go to the other side of the graph and get to the first intersection with the zero just like you did last time click enter three times you'll get positive 1.178 so if you were go and write that down it would be plus or minus 1.178 which is equivalent to plus or minus 3 eighths pi so if you were to put it in the form you need it would be plus or minus 3 eighths pi plus k pi. That's the form you need. It's never 2k pi. Don't let that trick you up. So, as you can see, we graphed it, first intersection, put it in the right form, and it is from, you know, the pretest. So we know exactly where it's from and how to do it. Now, I only showed you one version of that kind of problem. This time, we're going to focus on a problem with the sine. It would be sine 2x plus square root 2 over 2. Again, the sine and the zero are what would happen. So, since this is graphing, we're going to graph it. So, if we were to do that, the way it would be shown is y equals, and then you would type in the problem, making sure you type it in correctly. I didn't focus on that enough last time. Make sure it's correct. It'll make everything flop. Again, equals zero in a different place. And now we wait about mm, approximately four years for this thing to graph, somewhere around there. And then we would go to second trace five for intersect. And we would go to the first one to the left where it intersects on the x-axis. And you would get negative 0.39 again remember that number it's important now if we were to go to second trace again intersect and go to the first intersection on the right we would get 1.96 now not every problem is just the first two intersections on either side sometimes the problem is asking for a different intersection such as this problem what you would do is you would go to a different intersection because there's more than one and in this case it's 2.7 and you would remember that number now this specific number is wanting more than one intersection as in not the first two this doesn't happen every time but it is something to look at so here you see all three numbers that we had grabbed and they're all solutions. They're not all the same. Last problem, it was just the first two. This time, it's all three. Now, they're all equivalent to 1 8 pi, 5 8 pi, and 7 8 pi. You want to put it in pi form. For this kind of problem, it's crucial that you can put it in pi form. If you can't get it, just sub it in. It, it's fine. You can just sub it in. So, as you can see, this is from the test. 1 8th pi plus 2k pi. You do not want 2k pi. That is wrong. Over here, you see 1 5th pi. That wasn't even one of the things we had. So, that's out of the question. If you go over to C, it's 1 8th pi, which does match. And then 3 8th pi, which doesn't match. Everything else is fine. But... 3 eighths is the thing that makes it wrong. You see in A, 5 eighths pi and 7 eighths pi plus k pi, not k, 2k pi, it's k pi, so it's correct. 
All right, I hope I was able to teach you literally anything. This was like a very underfunded con video, so wasn't perfect. Thanks, bye.